is that that case is being handled by Lagos State Police Command all the way. And in almost all the, all the kidnappings we've solved, we discover that it is either a cousin, a brother, a driver, a cook, a housemaid, a servant, somebody, a member of the family. In fact, they have gone so bad that we've even had cases where children masterminded the kidnappings of their parents. We've had an instance in, in Anambra where actually a, 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 a husband masterminded the kidnap of the wife. Because yeah, what about believed... those ones? Sorry, I, I no, no. The, the point I'm trying to make planned. is... No, I understand. Because no, of time, the, the point the I'm trying one... to make... The point I'm trying to make is that one of the responsibilities that Nigeria own themselves is to ensure that they restrict information about themselves. Don't just give out every information about yourself to anybody that comes your way. the one that has no insider hand? I'm talking about, for instance, the man now, who's talking about for, 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 for traffic for those, light... Hold on. And he was pounding for, for, for those opportunistic kidnappings, generally, most of the precautions you will take against armed robbery, those are the kind of precautions you will take against those kind of kidnappings. For instance, in your neighborhood, try as much as possible to lit up your streets. I can bet you that if, if, if you live in an area that is well littered, you automatically drop the crime rate. If you drive in and you get an interception, be aware of your environment. It's, it's, it's something that you just need to do everywhere in the world. In, in United States of America, for example, the statistics shows that a car is stolen every 27 seconds. What about in Nigeria? Every 27, hold on, let me finish. Every 27 seconds, a car is being stolen. That translates to about 1.2 million cars per annum. And yet, everybody considers the United States as a very safe place or the safest place in the world. The point I'm trying to make is that in as much as we continue to do everything we need to do, the citizens also need to just put a little bit of effort to, to, to just perhaps make our job much more easier. For kids, for example, I always recommend that you allow kids to play in groups. Even for adults, if you must jog, don't jog alone. There's always security in numbers. Okay. Give us the statistics for Lagos. I mean, for Nigeria, so that people don't... No, I, 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 come in, I came into this studio not to talk about statistics well, so I, if i, if I, I want to comparing no, uh, no. states if, if, if you want if you want to compare that you you just discover that perhaps in, in if you want to do an average of nigeria and you want to tell if you want me to tell you how many cars are stolen per second or per hour you just you just you just be amazed because there are some states in nigeria where in, in a month we record just like five cars being stolen the bulk of the car theft takes place perhaps in, 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 in hot cities like maybe Anambra, Hot Harcourt, Lagos, and a few of them. There are so many other states in Nigeria where for a whole month, you can have up to five cars being stolen. And what even about, most of those cars... Rate, the rate of recovery is what people are bothered about. Because of the, if you talk about, the rate, if you the talk rate about of crime in America, is high. the rate of recovery is high and spontaneous sometimes. So you have to juxtapose. Let, let, yeah, let, let, let me, even let me those just stolen you, in the United States can actually be traced to other countries. Let, let me also give so you, let do me we also have give that you an kind instance. of mechanism? In, in Nigeria, in Lagos in particular, let me just limit myself to Lagos. Last year alone, we recovered 980 cars stolen cars out of how and many the that bulk, were stolen and the, and the bulk of those stolen cars were actually not even stolen in lagos some of them were cars stolen in kotonu togo ghana edo anambra the, the 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 reason is because lagos is a recipient for two reasons when cars are stolen in neighboring african countries they believe that there are so many rich people in Nigeria, they try to move the cars here. When cars are stolen from states outside Lagos, they believe there are so many rich people in Lagos, they move the cars to Lagos. So, Lagos State Police Command has done so well in recovering of stolen cars. Not so much how because the so bulk... Well? Because, I mean, how do we juxtapose that figure? Let, 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 let me tell you how, how many, many cars... Stolen, let, like let me tell you how many cars that were stolen. In... 
2012, 577 cars were stolen in Lagos. 500 and how many? 77. In, 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 in 2012. In the whole of 2012. In the whole of 2012. I mean, you're talking about reported cases, right? Of course. But let me tell you something. Car theft is one of those cases that are even over-reported. There are two types of crimes. There are crimes that are underreported, and there are crimes that are over-reported. Cases like rape and the rest of them are usually underreported. Theft of things like GSM phones and the rest of them are usually underreported. These are things that people steal and people just walk away. But cars, the moment you have a suspicion that your car has been stolen, you just can't stand. You must rush to the police station to report. Even if you're somebody that has a comprehensive insurance, because you know without a police report, you can't get a, a, a anything back from, from the insurance companies. So now that uh, maybe I should just uh, uh, stay off that for a minute because you didn't give us which year the 900 was recovered, but you talked about 2012. No, 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 no. I, 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 I told you 980, not 900, 980 stolen cars were recovered in Lagos between January to December 2012, 577 were stolen. In Lagos? In Lagos. Mm. What about them? Do you have no, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have, because okay. I know that we're going to be talking about a special report we did in Lagos, so I actually tried to restrict myself to what, was, what has been happening in Lagos in okay. the past two years. So, uh, actually, I w I'm so bothered by the kidnapping issue, uh, yeah. because uh, very soon no one would put a stop when the, <laughs> light, when, <laughs> I, I, when, when I, the light tells you stop, uh, especially at night or very early in the morning mm -hmm. on your way to work, then you have to hit uh, the accelerator no, no, and no, keep no, moving no, 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 until no, no. you tell the people what exactly uh, has been put in place by the Lagos Police Command. Perhaps maybe we have uh, police checkpoints in no, every let, traffic let, 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 let light. Tell you, let Otherwise, what we're doing. since it worked for some bad people around Ikoi, it could as well work for let, others. Let me, let me tell you what we're doing. Let me tell you what we're doing. We're going to be approaching it from a multifaceted dimension. One of the approaches we've always adopted in the past and which we're we, we, we already putting in place now is to push out as many undercover operatives as possible. Do they still have that? I, I, sure. I'm going to tell you that in some of the areas where jogging take place extensively, I, I shouldn't be saying this, but don't be surprised to find operatives also jogging. Mm. And we've done that in the past. When there were so much robberies going on on Todd Mainland Bridge, and what the robbers were doing was attacking broken down vehicles, we put out a lot of decoy vehicles on Todd Mainland Bridges. And the, 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 the robbers were attacking our decoy vehicles. And within a space of one month, we took, we took all of them out of, out of the bridge. And same we're going to replicate here. Okay. We're, going to we're going to deploy as many, as many decoy mm -hmm. operators as possible, as many undercover operatives as possible. We're also going to try to strengthen our visibility on, on, on the streets and all the crannies of the town. I, I just want to reassure Lagosians that there's really no need for them to go panicking. They have not got it to that level. Mr. Man, let's talk about response. I mean, this is about... Uh, much as you say that you, you don't want to talk or dwell on statistics and you employ them when you're about to make a point. But let's look at response from police officers. They're supposed to be first responders in case of anything. The report also talked about an incident that happened in Victoria Garden City where uh, thieves were disguised as, as guests and got in successfully and the police was called and there was no response. I mean, what we gathered from that was that they, they actually got through to the police, but nobody showed up at the end of the day. Okay. How do we explain that? Malpe, let me, let, me, let me just take it very this way. I, like, like I stated at the beginning of this program, such reports are usually very simplistic. I explain it this way. In dealing, in measuring response time, you have to put a lot of things into consideration. The first, first of all, in Lagos, G VGC is not part of the challenge I'm going to mention, but I'm also going to explain to you the, the likely things, the, the, the possible scenarios that have played itself out in VGC. If you put a call through to a police station 
let's say Aja PlayStation that covers VGC, for instance.